Preserving the past with an eye on the future. That's the goal behind the expansion of a rare breed of goat called Iripaw that's on the brink of extinction. There's less than 300 in the U.S., there's 600 worldwide. The Iripaw goat is a dual-purpose milk and meat breed. Heritage farm Connor Prairie in Fishers, Indiana, owns a small flock of the rare small ruminants. And in 1994, they were brought into the U.S. Um, and so we started with a foundation of six goats in the U.S. and have been able to build up to about 250 now in the U.S. Connor Prairie focuses on heritage breeds, which are described as very old breeds with historical significance, like the Arapaw, that are no longer used in modern production. They're very, very old breeds, many of which, you know, in our case here in, in central Indiana, here at Connor Prairie, um, you know, we raise breeds that would have been here in early 19th century Indiana, but many of them are, you know, even older than that. And like I said, many of them have, have either gone extinct because they can't compete with commercial livestock um, and, you know, production animals, or they've just fallen out of favor. We work to help preserve those breeds and, and keep them a viable breed. We are preserving the past so that we can, you know, make sure that it's available for the future. <laughs> to achieve that goal, Connor Prairie partnered with Reproduction Specialty Group of Lebanon, Indiana, to artificially inseminate does from their herd. Well, they were able to purchase some semen from the Smithsonian that had banked. Uh, in 2014, actually, is when that semen was frozen. And so it came in so we could artificially inseminate their does with it. Uh, they have a kind of semen bank, really a bunch of different genetics of a lot of different rare animals, including things like uh, animals that are extinct in the wild today. So it's really, really special that we've been able to work with that uh, foundation to get this semen. To conduct the procedure, the Arapod does were transported to Reproduction Specialty Group on October 26. Their owner, Dr. Tad Thompson, performed the laparoscopic artificial insemination, assisted by Dr. Logan Ullery. So I just handled the anesthetic part uh, today and kind of helped facilitate um, sedating those goats and getting them to relax. They got clipped and prepped, and Dr. Tad did the laparoscopic insemination and then uh, just stitched up the two holes that we had from our little incisions and then uh, we actually reversed the anesthetic off of them today just so that they would recover a bit quicker and safer. Dr. Thompson, who founded the practice with his wife Amanda, conducts more than 20,000 laparoscopic artificial inseminations annually around the world. However, he says this one was special because heritage breeds have features we may need in the future, like resistance to diseases or the ability to survive in a changing climate. They all have a little different value of genetic potential. And so we don't even know exactly what all their potential could be as somewhere down the road. So it's really important to preserve those genetics and kind of keep things going. Uh, one, to maintain our heritage, if you will, and where this uh, originated from. And then also not to lose value in genetics that migrate away over time in production. And Thompson says these and other heritage breeds need to be protected because none of us can predict what the future will hold. I'm Michelle Rook reporting.